I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. Of the Simple Success Podcast. And. This is Financial Life Coaching. From a happiness perspective. John, why does perspective matter in financial life coaching? Because, Didi, a perspective often determines the decisions we make, either good, bad, or downright ugly. And those decisions determine the life we live, right? Right, my friend. Choices have consequences, and little choices lead to big choices like our chosen retirement age. If we do the little things right, we are more likely to do the big things right. Why is that? Because in that world, we just do things right, no matter how big. So, if we manage to change people's perceptions in this podcast, then... change everything. Except, maybe the weather, even though that's also something that's within your control. That's what I said. Also, my friends, there are other types of weather that one can control. Do you mean weather is a figure of speech? Indeed, that's what I'm talking about. Things like financial weather and investment weather. This does make a difference in investing. That is not just a good point, DT. It's also a very smart one. Heck yeah, you can control those types of weather, and that's exactly why we're here. To teach folks that financial, investment, and life situations, even though they're sort of like weather, aren't beyond their control. They can get a monthly benefit. With those few remarks, let's move on to today's topic where we start getting payment. At last. What's one of the biggest misconceptions many people have about retirement? The cost? No, it's that retirement is primarily an age thing. Could you please care to explain? Absolutely, DT. Many people attach the word retirement and any retirement benefit to a certain age. Most people mean the official worldwide myth of age 65 to 67. And some mean the age when a person can get Social Security in America, which is 62, or the equivalent in other places. If a retirement plan is not an age thing, what then is it? It's a stage thing. What I mean is that you reach a stage in your service or working life when you retire without being dictated by the federal government's laws on the issue. I am taking notes. Good, Kevin, because this paradigm has to change. Retire when you choose to not work for someone else. I think he means that you should try it. What I was saying before I was humorously interrupted by our AI friends is that, though many people do not know it, retirement is a matter that is in each person's hands. Everyone makes their own balance when making their own nest egg. Doesn't that create a dilemma in that on one hand, we have these years that can't be stopped, and one way or the other, retirement bells will toll, is there no rule of thumb? I get what you're saying, DT, but we do have a certain amount of control over what we put into those years. A billionaire and a pauper have the same 24 hours per day, but it's the value they pour into those hours that count. Inflation notwithstanding, we make our own retirement fund and we determine our own retirement income. Actual learning opportunity detected. Are you saying that it is up to me as a single person to decide? I couldn't have put it better, my friend. That somehow answers this question, when can I retire? The when is up to you. That is, depending on what you do with your working or business hours. You're making retirement sound like such a simple thing. That's why we're here, to name that tune. ¿Por qué? Because it doesn't have to be hard or overly complicated. I get it. Instead of dreading retirement... I should take control by making it happen right now. What about the fear of old age? What about that penalty? <clears throat> All right, um, as I've said, or maybe you've said, John, retirement is often equated to old age. What about that fear of old age? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Hill said the most common fear of old age is associated with the possibility of poverty. So, it's really the fear of poverty, like you keep saying? Napoleon Hill Court detected. Yeah, 
It's really just a lack of retirement savings. And he also said that another contributing cause of the fear of old age is the possibility of a loss of both physical and economic freedom. Oh, that's a life-changing nugget right there. This podcast is a cheat code for life. Speaking of cheating, do you have an example of someone who cheated retirement? What do you mean cheated retirement? What I mean is someone who did not let other people's rules dictate to them when to retire. Oh, of course, I have a great example. Someone we all know, his heiress, Michael Jordan. One of the greatest basketball players who ever graced the game. I'm listening. He retired from basketball when he was at the top of his game and still had more years to play. He ventured into baseball, which didn't work out so well. But then he got out of retirement to earn even more accolades in basketball. That takes a whole another dimension of courage. Surely, only a selected few can do that. Bravery is physical. Courage is mental and moral. Napoleon Hill Court detected. But I must admit that I'm always slow to take action, despite your recommendation. Ah, but the good news is that you are doing it. You are taking action. So this is all worth it? That's why we're doing this podcast, E.T., to change such mindsets and make people know they can change their lives. It's a process, but it's worth it, my friend. What else do I need to do to get maximum benefit from this mindset? Have you read Think and Grow Rich yet? Yes, Alex. John's not the only average reader in this group. And that's a good thing. You and everybody else can join that group, D.T. The more the merrier. It's all a matter of belief. Which is the cue for D.T. to say, I believe that right now is the time for... Break number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast. Financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us. Please head over to the support link in our written show notes. That's the words on your podcast player. There, you can choose from a $9.99 per month doing level of support, a $4.99 knowing level, or a basic intro level of just $0.99 per month. Great place to start, whichever you choose. Thank you so much for helping us do this for you. And to leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes. You'll go to a site where you can leave a video, audio, or text-only message, depending on how you feel at the moment. You can also send us an audio file attached to an email if you use just more than your phone for stuff. I won't repeat those links because weird. And anyway, show notes. It's all in there and it's all easy. I know the retirement space is full of many technical terms, but in this podcast, we like to keep it simple. Thanks for that apt reminder, DT. We're not here to further complicate the matter for folks, but to break it down for them into simple little bits. By the way, gang, send voice messages to us and give us your feedback on that. That's good. Before the break, you said something about naming a tune. Yeah, just a quick revisit to a previous episode. Got that. But in case a newer listener didn't hear that, splain. Got it. So, you know those really long retirement reports? Like the ones I get from my financial advisor? Yeah, like those. I sort of like them, though it's Easy to get overwhelmed. This one is liked especially. That's what she said. Lots of pages though, right? Yeah, sometimes that can be a bit much. So how about if I told you, tell me what? To get a new advisor? Well, sort of, but more like make it simple. Oh, I like simple. And how can I do that? Simple. (sighs) No, really, DT, just simple it. It may be simple for you, John, but I'm lost. Care to give this guy a hint? No secrets. Give us a hint. Okay. How much money do you need? Every what? Every day? Week? Month? Year? Every month. For what? Everything. No complicated budgeting? No. Budgeting is not sexy after all. I can think of some words that don't belong. This is a family-friendly podcast. So how much, DT? Right. 10000 A month? Yes. Yes. 10000 a month, so 120000 a year. Yeah, and I must be on my own for, uh, we'll say, 50 years. Well, that's a long retirement, but science keeps getting us older. Uh, true, so that's $6 million you need. That is $6 million U.S. 
Mi amigo. Ha! Huh, is that all? Yeah, that's all. If you've got that, you don't need anyone or anything. No MSIs? No nada. It's all too much, John. There are so many expenses in retirement, maybe too many to have a comfortable retirement. First, we must correct that attitude. Someone once said that attitude is like a car with a flat tire. You ain't going nowhere till you change it. Once you change your attitude, the other things will fall right into place. It's all a matter of belief. And what else, Daniel? You are welcome, Donada, Durian. The AIs have it, DT. From what you have shared, the issue of retirement is one serious matter that should not be treated trivially. Yep, it's serious like a heart attack. It's a new retirement rule book, even. Well, at least it's not music theory. Oh, you mean rocket science, don't you, DT? It's something you can simple. How do I get started? Thanks for that question. The best way is to think about how much you are going to spend when you retire. Think about where you live now and what you would like to live in later. Like I said before, it's all too much. Financial independence? No, it's not. It's attitude. You can climb Mount Everest. You can navigate the Nile. You can fly a B-1 bomber if you want. And if you believe the web, you, the average person, can do really complicated things in only five minutes. Fake news. Samantha, 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 I'm not trying to make DTs out of you all. Just stay with attitude. What is with all this, my friend? I am trying to help you break a pattern of constantly saying, I missed the boat. I'll have you know that you might have missed one boat, but you sure didn't miss them all. John, if you keep on talking and quoting Hill, there is one thing we will miss. What's that, DT? Break number two. We know a lot about you already. Because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing? I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, simple. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. Can I simple that? Por supuesto. Of course. Just simple it. Please make sure your seat belts are fastened and your tray tables are in their upright position. And make sure simple is a verb like Google is a verb. We went on a break, but I have to admit I'm still surprised that retirement can be so simple. You are welcome. Thanks, Danny boy. It really is easy. Then why do advisors make it hard? Oh, they're just trying to impress you. Like our AI friends who don't retire? Imagine what a retirement home for AIs would be like. Um, they would drive each other AI? That is quite enough of the artificial intelligence jokes. Back to serious stuff. So, it's really just those two things? Yep. And if you have multiple streams of income, you don't have to wait another day. Period. And why is that so? Several reasons, DT. But mostly because it's you who is the one in control. What can I respond to next? Like that. Which we'll talk about later. What else? The tie-in you always ask for? Right. How does knowing this tie in and thus help with your investing? Our investing. Anybody's investing. It reaffirms that you have choices. More places than one for your annual income and cash flow to go. And? And it reaffirms that you can make decisions that are really good for you. Even though it's end game? But it's not. Science is living us all longer, remember? You said that every year. I can make it work for me? You can. Just think positive. Retirement is not the end of the world. I know of people who have used this time to come up with inventions or shift into careers which made them soar. 
What if things aren't working out as you envisaged, and life is beating you to a pulp? Tell life thou art one whom I will beat into clamorous whining if thou deniest the least syllable of thy addition. Cool beans. Doing some Shakespeare. Oh, we're coming to the tail end of this podcast, John. Can you say something about the power of a decision and economic freedom? The person who reaches a definite decision to procure the particular job and make life pay the price he asks does not stake his life on that decision. He stakes his economic freedom. Napoleon Hill Court detected. So, get a simple answer to this simple question and really start living. I am taking notes. You said that before, Kevin, but this is big stuff. Right, so you all get some homework now. Drat. Drat. We do? Oh, don't worry, it's easy. Red flag detected. Okay. Just come up with one MSI you might do. Anything. Anything that comes to mind. It's a kind of insurance for yourself, if you will. What if it's wrong? It isn't wrong. At least for now, we're just brainstorming. What's important is that you're doing something to join this exclusive club. Like our co-founders in our community? Yes. And here's where we encourage you to be a part of this thing. And practice, right? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. And repeat. And repeat. And repeat, of course. And by doing that, you will be on top of the world. And you'll have your spending plan covered. Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes... Techno King, John C. Brandy, Fact Checker, Abraham Lincoln, Script Consultant, Open AI, Language Consultant, Ever Evolving, Media Expert, Favor Abbasi E.K., Psychologist, William James... Rabbit Hole Advisor, Dr. Mark Perrot, Sound Designer, Goodly Amo Marconi, Videographer, Alfred Hitchcock, Inspiration, Many Podcasts and Other Sources, and of course, Napoleon Hill. We also have websites, and you can subscribe to both podcasts and get ebooks and other great stuff. You can send us a video, audio, or text message, but of course, you'll have to head to the show notes, either on your phone or on the web, to actually get links and stuff. And those clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, the artificial intelligence or AI voices you hear in our work come from Google, Amazon Polly, OpenAI and the online tone generator linked in the show notes. Finally, you can find us on prodmatch.com and matchmaker.fm, where we consider guests and guesting on other pods. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams. The sound effects credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Canoe CG, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play Moss Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Good Ink. Yes. That's his or her name, all on freesound.org.